Well, Fred, first of all, I, I have to talk a little uh, football with you because uh, you uh, were the last team you were with the Kansas City Chiefs. Right. right. Hank Stram's right. championship team, right. but you weren't on that team. I was in. Uh, I was on the first championship team. You know, Kansas City has won the championship twice. They won it in '67, and we played in the first Super Bowl against Green Bay, and uh, we lost that one. And Kansas City came back two years later and won the championship again, won the Super Bowl also. You know, I, I uh, give up very hard because I'm still calling them the Kansas City Texans. Yes, yes. <laughs> I remember when they were the Texans. I was playing for the Oakland Raiders when they were Texans. Yes. They, were, they were a championship team there, too. Well, it's a good team, and Hank Stram's a great guy. Yes, he is. So uh, now you're going into the acting business, and you're regularly going to be in the Julia series. Did you know Diane Carroll before you got no. into this? No, I didn't. I had always admired her work as, a, as, a, as an actor and also as an entertainer. She's a very fine and marvelous singer. But uh, it's sort of a, a natural progression for me to uh, come out of football and go into acting because even uh, football, I was a, an entertainer. I don't in know, what uh, way? Well, you'd have to know... <laughs> Something you were great about, in the locker room. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> well, you'd have to know something about Fred Williamson. Really, uh, you know, because of the fact I was called the Hammer. I wore white shoes. I was called Cassius Clay of pro football. I was called an egomaniac. All those wonderful, marvelous names that inspire one to do well. You do poetry as well, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I do whatever works. <laughs> and uh, so uh, you feel very comfortable then. Oh yes, yes, quite. In in an acting situation. Yes. You're there as the love interest. Are you going to get to marry Julia? Well, I think only the only person who would know that would be Hal Cantor, and he hasn't uh, he hasn't indicated it uh, to me. But there, from all indications in the in the previous scripts that we've done, that there will be some very strong romantic interest between her and myself. Uh, I haven't asked her to marry me yet, but uh, we may get around to it. Can you make suggestions to Mr. Canner, <laughs> or will you just have no, to see what I he wouldn't dishes out? No, because uh, I'm not marrying Canner, so I want to make any suggestions <laughs> to him. I'd be marrying <laughs> Diane Carroll, so if I had any suggestions to make, I'd make them to her. But uh, what do you see for your long-range acting career, Fred? Well, I'm, I'm, you know, any like acting is like anything else that I've ever gone into. I go into it to be the best, and if I can't be the best, then I don't want any part of it. I don't just intend to be another actor. I intend to be the best actor, and that is my goal. That's an admirable one. Do you know Cassius Clay? I know Cassius Clay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you two get on pretty well? Uh, yes, we do because uh, I respect him as a man, and he respects me as a man, and that's and that's all it takes for me to get along with anybody is to just respect me. Do you clown around back and forth? Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. I, I clown around with, uh, with with most guys that, that have controversial uh, reputation. Jim Brown is a good friend of mine. We get along very well, and he's another controversial figure in some social standards. And uh, but these people, uh, you know, we, we understand each other, and we understand how it is with each other, and so we, we get along great. What would make Fred Williamson controversial? Uh, he's out very outspoken very outspoken. He says what he feels and he does what he feels and he says what he thinks. And this always frightens people. People misconstrue what you say and they misunderstand what you say and they're always looking for some idealistic thing behind what you say. But, you know, I'm just saying what I feel and what I mean. This is, uh, this is automatically controversial. Would this frequently get you in trouble when you're playing football? Uh, no. Uh, but, you know, trouble and football is to have people after you, but then that's what the game is about. The game is a physical game, it's a physical contact game, so uh, if people came after me, that was great, because then I wouldn't have to go find them. You know, it made my job easier if they came after me, because then I wouldn't have to go looking for them, and that's how I approached the game. Does the press give you a pretty fair shake, Fred? Uh, the press does as well as they can, I suppose. Uh, now, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> interpretation is always uh, a trap that most news people fall into when they when they try to interpret something that I have said or something that somebody else has said rather than just you know take it verbatim or repeat exactly what I say it sort of gets lost in interpretation and uh, so I try to keep my conversation light and airy I don't try to get deep and heavy because I can but I try to keep it light because when they start interpreting what I say they always get lost well I'll try not to get lost well I you know, <laughs> I could get lost with your conversation just looking at you. <laughs> Fred, thank you very much for taking time to talk with us today here in Hollywood. And uh, we hope you have the very best of success on Julia. Thank you.